Hey, Joe from Coding Blocks here, and I wanted to take a few minutes to give you a whirlwind tour of Airbrake.io. Now, full disclosure, Airbrake has sponsored episodes of Coding Blocks, but I wanted to make a video about it because I thought it was a really cool product and I wanted to have something to link to when people asked me about it. First up, Setup is a Breeze. They have SDKs for all major languages and platforms, and it's all open source on their GitHub page. The examples are concise, and because it's open source, you've got complete insight into what you're including in your app. I've already set up Airbrake for a few server-side applications, but I have a little chess JavaScript app that's been throwing a weird exception. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as an example and configure some custom information along the way. By using one of Airbrake's open source packages, you get a bunch of relevant information out of the box. Information about the environment or the user's session or browser, and you can also pass additional information that's specific to your app, which is what I'm gonna do here. In my case, there's a particularly annoying bug where the chess AI tries to make a move that the rules engine thinks is invalid. This is a JavaScript app with no server-side component, so I didn't even know there was a problem until someone told me about it. I'm not sure whether the rules engine or the AI is the problem here, so I'm going to have Airbrake log every move that's been made in the game so far, as well as moves the rule engine thinks are available. Then I should be able to figure out which one is wrong and take it from there. I've already rigged the app to reproduce the problem for demonstration purposes, so hey, setup's already done. Now let's run the app and see what happens. Looks like we've got some sort of handshake to establish a connection, and then we pass the relevant information securely to Airbrick. And here's the email. Since this is the first time Airbrake has seen this exception, it's going to send a notification. If I cause the exception a second time, both exceptions will be grouped in the website, but I won't get a second email because Airbrake is smart about what it sends. You can configure this per project as well. I've been the recipient of thousands of exception emails before, so I'm particularly fond of this feature because when your notifications are too noisy, then they end up getting ignored. Logging into the site gives you access to even more additional information, as well as an aggregations tab that shows the commonality and differences between logically grouped exceptions. I previously set up a WordPress blog, there was a plugin for that, and an ASP.NET site. I initially assumed that the exceptions would be dumbed down to the lowest common denominator, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that each project included platform-specific information, and of course, you could always add your own custom data. Everything is neatly organized and visualized so that it's easy and intuitive to make sense of the mass of information. I was quickly able to pinpoint a few issues in these apps. Some I had known about and some I hadn't. I'm also only scratching the surface here. There are a lot of other cool features like source mapping, release tracking, workflow, and a ton of third-party integrations as well. It's obvious that Airbrake has put a lot of effort and attention into user experience and documentation. And because the interface is so clean, concise, and understandable, I find myself actually wanting to show it off. So that's it. To sum up, uh, Airbrake is easy to set up, it smartly alerts, smartly organizes, and it's a pleasure to use, and uh, I strangely want to show off my exceptions. So there's a link to a free trial in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. You'll also find links to the Chess app on GitHub in case you want to help me fix this bug.